Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chris with Chris's Tech Tips. Today we're going to talk about the new Yamaha YZ450F. The Yamaha YZ450F is virtually unchanged from last year, with the exception of new graphics and colors. Don't let that fool you. The changes that took place in 2020 were far from few. So if you have a 2020, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you're new to Yamaha for 2021, then you're in for a real treat. This is not a sponsored video, and this is only my opinion. So if a test ride comes up, or one of your buddies just bought one, make sure you jump at the chance to take a test ride. And if you're thinking about a different color, make sure you check out my video on the all-new Honda CRF 450. Alright, with that being said, let's get into it. The bike is simply amazing, and Yamaha has a rock solid foundation for 2021, so why change it? The motor delivers an electric feeling as you roll the throttle on. In stock form, this bike is an animal. It hits hard, pulls through the RPM range, and makes most of its peak power from 9,000 to 11,500 RPM. With a dyno score of 58.56 horsepower and 48.9 at the rear wheel, you can adjust the power delivery to a smooth roll-on electric filling or a Justin Varsha over-revving hard-hitting bees by simply using the Yamaha Power Tuning app on your smartphone with no tools required. The YZ also comes with a map switch offering two different positions. These are selectable on the fly which comes in handy if the track conditions change mid-moto. Also, a launch control system to help with quicker, smoother starts. All right, here's a quick rundown from all the changes from 2020 that carries over to the 2021 Yamaha YZ450F. The motor includes a combustion chamber geometry with steeper valve angles, more aggressive cam profiles, a high compression piston with low friction rings, longer connecting rod, larger exhaust head pipe, and high flow air filter. I would say if the Yamaha YZ450 has any weak spots, one of them would be how wide the bike feels. Also the brakes aren't the strongest out there, and the bike might be a little on the heavy side. But Yamaha has a reputation of building bulletproof motors, and Yamaha has told us before when it comes to their products, Yamaha is not willing to sacrifice reliability just to have the lightest bike on the track. The 2021 YZ is exceptionally well balanced. It doesn't feel that heavy on the track and the motor's exceptional with a quick snappy throttle response and loads of power. I really don't think you can go wrong by riding a Yamaha. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what brand you guys are shooting for this year. And also stay tuned because my next video is gonna feature the all new 2021 Gas Gas 450. another video down thanks so much for watching and if you haven't already please scroll down below click that subscribe button and the notification bell that way you'll be notified when i release my next video all right thanks again for watching i'm chris with chris tech tips and we'll catch you in the next one